look at these gorgeous candy apples. These are pretty white candy apples. I will show you how to dip your apples. And I will show you how to decorate your apples. But first, before I do that, let me introduce myself. I am the DIY Queen Diva. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell to keep updated with me and all of my videos on the weekends and pop-up videos during the week. Okay, so I am using Domino sugar today. Four cups of sugar. One cup of Cairo. And one cup of water. So I have my four cups of sugar, one cup of Cairo, and one cup of water. So usually at the beginning, I add everything, including my flavor. Let me go ahead and get that because I usually forget to add it once the candy gets to cooking. Um, since I am doing white candy apples today, I am not going to add any color to the candy mixture because I do not want to add white and my candy turns brown. Sometimes I have my candy up too high but it's best to have it on between low and medium or medium. I'm gonna add a teaspoon and a half to my candy mixture. And this is butter vanilla. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this on the stove and let it cook 300 degrees. So a lot of you ask, what type of candy thermometer do you use? This is the Taylor candy thermometer that I use. Once your candy reaches 300 degrees, hard crack, you take your candy off. Do not, when you place this in your pot, do not let the bottom touch the bottom of the pot. You want this lifted up, and it's really easy to do because you have this little handle right here to attach to the back of your pot. So this is my best candy thermometer. I really love it. It's really accurate. I do not have any issues with this. This is the one to get if you ask me. I've had this for two years and no issues. Again, it's Taylor brand. And I will put the link down below so that you can purchase a Taylor candy thermometer as well. And today I will be using the Silver Bling candy apple sticks. Now, I will post the link below where to get your bling where to get your wooden sticks. And I also have a video on how to make these cute bling sticks. So look up above and click on that link on how to make these cute bling sticks. I also have a video on how to make these beautiful bows and I'll post that link down below and you can click above on the video. 
Okay, so my candy has reached 300 degrees. I am using the Wilton's White Icing and I need to add a good amount of white so that my candy apples don't come out translucent and so that my candy apples come out a pretty pearl white color. So I am just stirring up the color in the candy mixture Okay, I am going to grab my apples here and place my bling sticks in the apple. Once you place your bling sticks in the apple, make sure you have paper towel to wipe around the top of the apple to make sure no apple juice came out so that you don't get a bubble on the top of your apple once you dip your apples. Get your pot and tilt towards you and dip your apples. Now place your candy apples on a silicone mat or parchment paper. And now I am just going to repeat the process. Dip the apple all the way in the candy and rotate the apple. Pull it up and scrape the bottom of the apple. Your candy apple should be looking like this. Okay, it's time to make these apples dazzle. So of course, you know, I've already done a bow tutorial on these exact bows. And I'll make sure that that description, that link is in the description box down below. I use the hot glue gun and I just put a dab of hot glue on the back of the bow and then attach it to the candy apple stick. And I just repeat the process to make these candy apples dazzle and dance. Okay, so I am just going to repeat the process. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell to keep updated with me and all of my videos on the weekends and pop-up videos during the week. Bye-bye. Have a great weekend.